get into it. I'm excited for this one, man. This is going to be the API shootout. We're going to mainly use the API 550B. I think I've seen a shootout with the API 550A. I think the main difference, the 550B is supposed to have a sweeter sound. It has an extra band. The thing is, some plugin developers don't make the 550B. But in my opinion, it's a better EQ. So for Slate, for example, I'm going to use their version of the 550A. For UAD, I'm going to use their version of the 550A. And uh, we're just going to hash it out, man. So to start, we're going to use this Irish Bazooki. This is just like a really cool specialty guitar-like instrument. And um, I have this song I'm working on called If the World Should End. It was a, a song I did way back in the day. It was kind of a rock power ballad. It was like a power ballad meets like Pink Floyd. But I always felt it had like an Irish lilt to it. So I'm actually remaking it with all Irish and Celtic instruments. So the bazooki was actually originally a Greek instrument. I don't know how it found its way to Ireland. This is not going to be a tutorial on bazookis, <laughs> but it's a it's an awesome sounding instrument. I mean, I can play it just a little bit with the song. This is completely unprocessed. And oh, best part, by the way, this is free. This is free. So you guys should definitely check this out. It's super cool. So let's just bring it back to the beginning, man. So that's how it sounds with nothing. I just put a little uh, strum on it. Um, and then I went ahead and processed it, but I did not use any EQ. Here's the process version. So again, a little bit of saturation, a little bit of um, warmth, a little bit of room ambiance. Let's get right into the EQ and let's just dial in a good sound on this EQ. And we're gonna start with the UAD. Again, UAD does not have a 550B, so we're gonna do the best we can with the 550A. And then I'm gonna try to match it from there. I always like to uh, over-exaggerate it, find the right frequencies. That's cool. Also, I didn't uh, didn't really mean to have so many of these uh, chords. So yeah, for here, I'm gonna just have this a uh, little bit more simple. Now, on the mid range, I don't know. Do we want to do a cut or do we want to do a boost? Now, let's start with a boost. Let's see if we can get a good boost. is nice. I already have a boost at seven. I'm not a huge fan of that. Let's try to do a cut and just see. I'm here with the vocals. Come down, love, blow your clouds. Yeah. Come That's down. the beginning. Need 100 for sure. Okay, we have a pretty good sound on the front of the A. 
Now let's go to the uh, Waves 550B. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and also let's screw it. Let's do one uh, Waves 550A as well. This healthy boost. dials up. I know the analog just adds noise, but actually sounds a little bit better, I think. Okay, so there's the waves. Let me just hear the UAD. I think the UAD definitely wins that one. Okay, now let's go to the uh, 550B, see what we got. Uh, let's see, we're going to add another frequency, because we got it. May as well add it. That's not bad right there. Okay, let me hear it with the music. going to be kind of a pain in the ass. But that's cool. I'm excited to try it. This is the, uh, the APQ. This is a Nebula. Now, I mean, this being a uh, Nebula, it was actually sampled from the real device. And so you get some other things like uh, Drive. Which, hell, I'm going to use them if they're there. You know? Why not? Trying to get the best sound possible. I don't care. The methods. I'm just going to, you know, level match these at the end. But that uh, 6 dB sounds really nice. Let's go to the next band. That's the, that's the pain in the ass with these old Nebula plugins, man. Got to do it band by band. It's got a great sound, uh, definitely not a user-friendly experience. That's the thing about the new Acoustica plugins is they're all in one. You don't need to stack a whole bunch of different instances of the same plugin. They don't eat up all your CPU like these do. So what I'm going to do is freeze this. And there we go. And let's move on to the next one, which should be a whole hell of a lot easier. This is a Red Rock Audio, I believe. These guys are really criminally underrated. Like, honestly, you'll see. Once we blind test these, they're just incredible. Everyone's been freaking out about analog obsession and to begin with i didn't like analog obsession at all recently i've there's a few of his plugins that uh really have impressed me like his backs basically his dangerous backs is really good but this is another plugin company that is super affordable uh, and his stuff is just amazing to me this is what the analog obsession should have been but that's just my opinion that's my hot take sorry Red Rock Sound. Check them out. They're incredible. So, on that note, let's just uh, pull up this bad boy. And they've got the 550B. So, we are in luck. Let me go back. And uh, where's the uh, Waves API 550B that we had so we can match this bad boy up? I'm going to just go ahead and match this without even listening to it. And then we can see about adding harmonics and some of these other nifty things. So we want to start at 100.
by the way, let me tell you my philosophy on these type of shootouts or on, you know, analyzing plugins. I'm a much more instinctual type of person. I'm a creative. I know that math is music. I know they're interrelated, but you are never going to find me pulling up an instance of plugin doctor ever. I promise you this. Here's the thing. I think so many musicians are self-producing and so many musicians are able to, and we have all these tools, you know, even Neutron and uh, the Sonable stuff and Ozone, you know, can kind of like get you 80% of the way there without having to know too much. I do know definitely a little bit more than that, but I still kind of go by feel more than I go by what plugin doctor tells me. So I'm not going to perfectly match these levels. I'm going to go for what is close, but sounds good on this particular plugin. Um, I will level match these at the end. That's about as scientific as we're going to get. I'm not going to pull up spectrograms and oscilloscopes and plugin doctor and look at freaking waveforms. Like no effing thank you. It's about the sound. It's about what feels right. There's basically, there's uh, engineer producers and then there's musician producers, uh, or even you could just say musical producers. And I am definitely the latter and not the former. Some of these engineer producers, man, you, you guys drive me crazy. I can't even watch content of these freaking guys. Uh, <clears throat> snake oil. Um, you know, some of these guys have been driving me effing crazy. I can't watch their content at all. And half the time, I don't even agree with these guys who are pulling up their plug-in doctors all the time. Like, put that, put that thing away. Put that thing away. We don't want to see that. <laughs> all right. Back to it. Let's check out these harmonics. I think that's a pretty good sound. I'm gonna just leave that. Onward. And now we have the Gem 550, which again has four bands, so I assume it's meant to be the 550B. Let me just try to dial this in as quick as possible. So it's kind of like a push and pull EQ. We got uh, the dip right next to where we have the boost. Yeah, I'm going to go with what sounds the best on that particular plugin. All right, here we go. We have Slate. I'm going to be honest. Slate is usually one of my least favorites. Uh, I still like their FGX. I think that's one of their best plugins, the FGX limiter. That one sounds the best to me. All right, now we got the pink from Acoustica. Like I was saying, for those of you who don't know Acoustica, the Nebula, you can see we had to stack each band. This is a great plugin, honestly. This is one of my favorite plugins from Acoustica. pretty well level matched so let's just go ahead and throw this blind shootout on each of these guys and uh let me uh, label these a little bit better sometimes i gotta tell you boy <laughs> i'd be dumb all right so i only need to have one of these open right correct all right i'm excited man 
Let's see. Let's make sure I got all these on. What is going to happen, y'all? I've actually never tried this uh, blind shootout before. We gonna see. We gonna see. This is gonna be cool. All right, here we go. Let's try this thing. And we're gonna just uh, roll the dice. Okay, here we go. I can already tell you I like two a lot better than one. It's uh, so much fuller. Try to level match these. They sound a little bit uh, different. Obviously. But some of them just sound cool as well. That's nice. That's nice as well. That's nice. That's really nice. That's really nice as well. It's like messy. up a three. I mean this is this one's right. Alright. That's my uh that's my ranking man. So uh the two five stars, let's see. This one's a little bit cleaner, but it's, uh, actually I'm going to maybe downgrade this to a four star. I think this, uh, I think this might be the best one. It's not bad either. This one. This is the one. I'm excited. Let's see what's up. Oh, <laughs> I'm not totally surprised. 
I'm not totally surprised. This is the one again from Nebula that we had to uh, do each band independently. But those uh, Nebula emulations, man, they're just something else. They're just something else. You got to go to a lot of extra trouble. Pink, not surprising. The Acoustica, you know, so for ease of convenience. And, you know, if I really spent the time, I could probably dial in just as good of a sound on the pink as we did with the uh, APQ. Um, Red Rock, I'm surprised. I almost always choose Red Rock, um, e even in blind shootouts or just comparing them to other plugins. Uh, yeah, they're only at a three on this right now. Uh, UAD? Oh, wow. UAD coming in strong. And that's the 550A with only the three bands still coming in strong. UAD. Okay. Universal Audio surprising me. Waves not doing bad. Slate doing way better than I would expect. Gem not doing well at all. I'm not sure. I think I kept the settings pretty freaking similar on that gem. But I remember, yeah, I remember not being impressed with the gem. I never used that. I do again, I love the Overloud uh, Gem Voice, their vocal channel strip. Waves, uh, I'm surprised, the Waves 550B. Oh, the 550A, for me, was coming up uh, above the 550B. Let me hear that again. a certain detail on the 550A, um, but I probably would have given the 550B uh, maybe at least two stars or, but I don't know. Yeah. When I heard it, when I heard it blind, it, it wasn't uh, stacking up. Well, that was interesting, ma'am. I'm surprised uh, by the outcome. And again, the APQ actually came out on top. Oh, yeah, it's the APQ from Analog in the Box, man. And uh, I didn't mean to do a promo for them. I swear to God, it's all a blind shootout, but yeah. The bass sounds good. It's our sounds great. is that APQ. So there you go, man. I'm surprised by the results. Again, I'm positive that I could dial in just as good a sound on the pink if I spent a little time with it. So uh, yeah, APQ wins this one for me, man. But after that, I'd go with the pink from Acoustica Audio. UAD coming in strong. UAD, you need to make a 550B. What's up with that? Make a 550B. And uh, yeah, all the rest uh, trailing. Slate doing better than I expected. That's it for now. Thank you all for watching. Till next time.